my own factory. I took all the returning soldiers back, even if I didn't have work for them. We set up workers' councils, workers and management meeting together to discuss all aspects of the business. Back then, no one had ever done this before. They got me to write out an appeal to the German nation. I said that if they could get me a hundred signatures of prominent people, we'll print it in the papers. I'm assembling a group to do it. We'll get you those signatures. Good. Oh, and there's a young man hanging around door now with nothing to do. His name is Walter Johannes Stein. We took to the highways and the byways. We were ready to give it everything we'd got. They did well. I allowed myself to hope that something good would come of their work. Look! Hermann Hesse has just signed his name. The people began giving lectures in all sorts of places. I had to give some of them a crash course in public speaking. We wanted to make it clear to the people that the world war arose because Germany had abandoned its true tasks of spiritual and cultural leadership and dedicated herself to building an empire on material benefits alone. This war should have been a watershed, a place of no return, from which going back to these old ways was impossible. No new structures, such as deprivatized businesses, cooperatives, and so forth, can fulfill the functions that people want them to if they have merely been copied from old traditional forms and ways of thinking. Social communities have until now been formed largely through humanity's unconscious social and anti-social instincts. The task of our time is to penetrate these instincts with full awareness. The workers, through relentless propaganda from Marx onward, believed that change in the economic system alone would guarantee change in all other areas. This is as foolish as thinking that changing who governs will make any difference at all if the rest of society stays the same. The political sphere can do no other than destroy economic life when it tries to take control. And the economic sphere loses its strength and vitality when it tries to become political. We poured our souls into the task, but we were few. We made mistakes. It seems I can always rely on my followers to ruin much of my best work. Hans Kuhn, office manager of the Threefold Association, circulated a pamphlet using inflamed rhetoric and a demagogical style. <coughs> Attention, manual laborers! Manual laborers! Yeah. Pay attention! Attention, spiritual laborers! Spiritual laborers, that's you, love. Attention, oh, manufacturers! Laborers. Yeah, pay attention. Are we to remain slaves? Slaves, yeah, slaves. In the place where we perform our No! Work? Come on, let's hear it! No! no. We're not slaves, we're free. We demand yeah. the formation of workers' yeah. council. Workers' council. Whether yeah. our employers yeah. call for them or let's not. Workers' councils, yeah. yeah. Workers' councils, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 This, of course, stirred up opposition from the bosses. The correct way would have been, of course, to have told the workers what they had to gain from the freefold social organism, and the employers what they had to gain. Intelligent people running their own businesses, will have no trouble appreciating something that leaves them free to respond to what is actually happening in the marketplace rather than government control. We worked with various businesses that worked out of threefold principles. This is a different story. And it happened some years later. Let me only say I had to experience with great pain degree to which my will was not my own. I experienced conflict with some of my colleagues. I tried to show them how to deal with the situations that arise when human beings meet one another across the abyss that separates this world from regions of soul and spirit. Such situations arise when people to find that the powers which hold the human soul together are loose. People of future times will have to learn how to deal with 
of such situation. For they will take place more and more. Some things can only be learned through experience. Perhaps that's why we had to embark on those disastrous initiatives. Steiner had warned us, but when he saw how determined we were to make the threefold social organism work, he supported our effort. I couldn't tell people what to do and what not to do, but I made sure it was all written in my mystery drives, especially the fifth one. That one can only be written when things have progressed further and we have a genuine world economy. Well, well I can't do everything. Some other poor fellows will just have to do it. Steiner didn't give up. He continued to work in the social sphere, but as he so often had to do in his creative life, he changed direction. I had hinted to Moult that what was necessary was to educate children <coughs> in such a way that they would be capable of becoming inwardly free animals. He was slow to understand. We had started adult <coughs> education courses in my Waldorf Astoria cigarette factory. They started out wonderfully, but people couldn't stay committed to them. I realized we had to educate in a new way, to a new generation who weren't as burdened by the past as their parents were. Then suddenly, one day, when one of my workers was telling me proudly about his son being accepted to the high school, it, it dawned on me what we had to do. Until now, education had been a means to perpetuate the old class system. But we could offer something good to those who, until now, had been deprived of it. On the 23rd of April, 1919, I was present at a meeting of his workers when he put it to them that he wanted to start a school for their children. Some of them were a little suspicious at first, but I was delighted. This is the way to change the world, starting with what is at the heart of the spiritual, cultural sphere, the education of children. Uh, Dr. Steiner, I set aside the sum of 100,000 marks for this enterprise. Yes, well that will do very nicely for a start. The school started with 250 children, but its true task was always linked to transformation on a much larger scale in the world. 